Hey guys, Davin Lim, Dermatologist. So today's video is all about retinol. So what we'll be discussing a few things, including what is retinol, how to use retinol, including my favorite tips and tricks, as well as advice, and we'll give you some pearls towards the end. So what is retinol? Retinol is the most powerful molecule in dermatology. This has been with us for well over four decades. This ingredient is what most dermatologists will start you off Firstly, to treat acne, but also your anti-aging skincare routine. So guys, this is why retinol is super important and learning how to use it and understanding the tips and tricks, which I'll go through later on, is super important so that your whole skincare journey is not only effective, but also will be trouble free. So retinol is a vitamin A derivative. Other vitamin A's include things like retinol palmitate, retinaldehyde, and a whole heap of other drugs that we use in dermatology called retinoids. And they include adapalene, triferritine, tazarotene, and all those big names. So retinol itself, how does it work in the skin? Basically, it reduces the amount of sun damage that your skin may receive over many decades of photoaging. So it does so by increasing the amount of turnover that your cells have. So it speeds up your turnover, in turn, reducing dull skin. It can also reduce sebum production, and sebum, as you guys know, is the number one cause of acne. It also helps with collagen stimulation, and this is super important because retinol stimulates your fibroblasts to produce natural collagen. Additionally, dermatologists use this to reduce the amount of pigmentation in your skin, as it also suppresses the cells called melanocytes. So what's my experience with retinol? As a dermatologist, we get given a lot of products, like a lot, and I'll tell you this, not all cheap products are bad, and not all expensive products are good. So my experience is this, find the formulation that suits your skin type. So something like this, if you have dry skin, head towards something like a retinol formulation in a cream base. So Murad makes some excellent retinol formulations because they actually suit drier skin or more sensitive skin. The flip side with retinol is that if you have more resistant skin, you can use something like a serum, which is basically less occlusive, but it has a lot higher concentration of retinol in a smaller volume. So how do we use retinol? Retinol, if you've never used it before, start low. So start something like 0.5%, and increase as tolerated. One of the best tips I can give you is to buy a formulation that you can afford that you actually will like using. So cheap doesn't mean it's bad, but expensive doesn't mean it's good. So you've got to try and basically find something that's in the middle of the road. So I can give you some recommendations down below. So guys, start every second night or even every third night and then increase as tolerated. Use it after a bath or shower apply a tiny amount, like a pea size amount, to the areas that you want to treat. So this could include the face, neck, and chest. From there, you build up very slowly. So retinol itself can be used with certain other skincare ingredients. And certain skincare ingredients should not be used with retinol. So what can you use with retinol? Retinol pairs well with something called niacinamide or vitamin B3. Vitamin B3 can be used at the same time, or even an hour before, or an hour after retinol application. Another good agent you can use if you have inflammatory acne or sensitive skin such as rosacea is azalic acid. So azalic acid can be applied once again an hour before or an hour after retinol. Another frequent ingredient that we add is simple vitamin E. Vitamin E itself is known as tocopherol, and vitamin E can help improve your skin barrier function but it's also a very important antioxidant. What this means is that it helps protect your skin against environmental and UV damage. So we talked about what can be paired with retinol, what should not be used with retinol. The most important thing is not to use other potential irritants. So one of the most common irritants that we see as dermatologists is vitamin C. Vitamin C, as the name suggests, it's ascorbic acid. With the word acid means that most formulations of vitamin C have a very low pH. So somewhere in between pH 3 and 3.5. So what that means is that it has a lower pH in your skin 
and hence it can irritate the skin. So when you're applying vitamin C together with retinol, all you're doing is compounding the potential irritation. So what you should do in that situation is to use vitamin C in the morning because vitamin C is an antioxidant and can contribute to your collagen production. Now you can use your retinol at night, but once again, start very slowly and increase from there. Now the other ingredient you should not be using is alpha hydroxy acids. So things like lactic acid, glycolic acid, mandelic acid, citric acid, all these skincare acids, much like ascorbic acid, are formulated with a very low pH. So if you apply both, it's going to cause you some skin irritation. The same applies to something called benzyl peroxide or BPO, which is very frequently used to treat acne. So guys, those are my top hints in regards to how to use retinol. So in summary, buy the best retinol that you can afford. Start slowly and increase as tolerated. Think about how you're going to use retinol with your current skincare routine and how to integrate it with other skincare actives. Guys, I've done many videos, as you can see, in regards to how to use skincare to further optimize your skin's health. Guys, I hope you liked that video. Please like, comment, share, and consider subscribing.